Hello! How the f*** do people do these kind of videos? If you are here, then that means you have just watched my recent project, which is a recreated scene from my favorite show, Hell of a Boss. If you haven't, then why the hell are you watching this first? Get the f*** out and watch it! Sorry about that, I lost my temper a little bit. But this project took a few months of hard work, so I wanted to showcase a little bit of my workload and take you through the whole process from start to finish. So without further ado, let's oh, lick some oh, ass! The expression is kick some ass. Mine's better. Leveling. So this first process was very complicated because I needed to take the 2D characters and turn them into 3D. After looking around for some inspiration on how other people have done these characters in 3D, I went into Blender and first sculpted a rough look of their heads, as that part was very crucial to nailing the look. Then I went in to re in their head, adding the eyelids, pupils, and adding hair. And then from there, I went and hand modeled the rest of their body parts and clothes. So one of the lessons I learned from modeling characters from this project is to avoid modeling body parts underneath clothing. Because when you go into pose mode and you rotate a character's arm or any other body part, you might see some clipping issues with their clothing colliding inside of their body mesh. So you would have to go into weight paint mode and readjust their vertex groups until it no longer happens. But when you go back into pose mode again and do an exaggerated pose, then you're gonna see more clipping issues in the same area. So now you gotta go back into weight paint mode again and again and readjust it all over and over, over again until you have no more clipping issues. Rigging. This process for me was pretty straightforward as I've already done some rigging stuff in the past. Like for example, I did a Sonic meets Infinite video where I had to rig up my own Sonic character rig as well as Infinite. So first off is setting up the skeletal rig, then adding any other necessary bones, like for hair or tail physics. Then it's setting up the IK system, where I can control one bone and all the other bones would move along with it. And then I added a simple FK to IK switch. Depending on the shot I'm working with, I can switch between them on the fly if I need to. And for facial animation, I use shape keys to blend from one mouth position and keyframe it to the other to get the lip sync, as well as eye blinking or eyebrow animations. And with both rigs now complete, it was now time to put these two characters into the place of where they're at in the animation. So in the original scene, these two characters are at a place in LA that is called the Griff... Griff... Griff of Azur... How the f*** do you say that? Griffith Observatory. Thanks, AI. At least you have a use for something. I tried my best to look around online to see if there are any sort of models that I could use to represent the observatory, but I ended up modeling everything myself in the end. I looked up references for the animation and tried to get a close match of what the scene looks like. For modeling the simple buildings of LA, the mountainscapes, fog and clouds, and just bits and pieces of the observatory. As you can see, I didn't build the whole observatory, as I only needed to build the necessary parts that were just required for the shots. So with the scene builded out and my characters ready to go, it was now time for Son of a Animating. So with like any sort of shot that you would see in any animation, the first thing is just laying out the basic movement of the character. Then once I have an overall feel of the movement, then I can go in and fine tune, and as well as lip sync and animate any hair physics. My overall goal for the animation side was to match up closely as I can to the original animation, while adding my own like little creative flares to it. One of the things I tried to fix up on my end was the continuity errors that I saw in the original animation. So like for example, there's this shot of Luna honing a cigarette to her mouth, she takes it off, but when it cuts to the next shot, it's suddenly just back in her mouth. And it's very jarring for a guy like me who's worked on a lot of films where continuity is very important. A lot of times in some of these shots, I avoided any sort of body part that necessarily doesn't need to be animated if it's out of focus or not in the shot at all. So that way it saves me some time. And I think overall, this entire scene took me all about three to four months just to animate. Now, the last step for this project was the effects and editing. <laughs> Jesus, you don't have to yell in my f***ing ear, dude. I took the rendered animation and went into After Effects to add any smoke or fire particles. I originally wanted to do this all inside of Blender, but it was just a pain in the ass just to get set up as well as the baking process. Plus, I was running out of time of doing this project as I have some other stuff that I really need to get on doing. So I went with the Fix it in After Effects method. Then I went into Premiere Pro and did any color adjustment and edited everything together in the end. Of course, there were some things I wish I had more time to nail down. Like for example, I wanted to actually add a outline style around the 3D characters in the environment to sort of get a representation of the original 2D animation, but I just couldn't nail the look. So I decided to scrap that part and just stick with the half cell shaded look. Overall, this project was just a blast to make it and I really am proud of the end result. Let me know what you guys thought of the animation. Hopefully you enjoyed it before I get on for making it. And hopefully Spin a Horse Team doesn't hire IMP to come kill me.